No matter how comfortable we are with our bodies, we all have times where we question how we smell down there. You've likely talked to yourself at some point, do I really smell normal? And what is normal anyway? Everyone's vagina, even the healthy ones, have their own special scent. Still, that below the belt area sometimes gets a bad rap. Your vagina has particular smells, which vary from person to person, influenced by your clothing material, your diet, and how much you are hydrated. Education is important when it comes to feminine hygiene. You likely learned about your body from an array of sources, school, the internet, your mom. Chances are, those some feminine hygiene skills we are never taught to you or have evolved over time. Listen on for some helpful tips. First tip that I'm going to talk to you about is avoiding perfume soap, gels, and antiseptics. These things that I just mentioned can affect the healthy balance of bacteria and pH levels in your coochie and cause irritation. If you're always thinking that your vagina is smelling, normally our coochie has its own particular smell. It depends on your dieting or the clothing material that you wear. So we should know that it is not created to smell like roses, but you can affect the way your vagina smells by what you eat. These are the things that I'm going to be talking about in this video. If that would make you to go and purchase scented soaps, antiseptics, so that your coochie can smell like a rose or smell like perfume, that's not okay because we have bacteria that are in our vagina which are there for a good cause. They are there to fight order bad bacteria and to keep our coochie in a good pH balance which makes it function normally the way it should so when you put in something that is scented that is not good for the bacteria it can actually kill the bacteria thereby your coochie is prone for other bad bacteria viruses and some other infections to occur avoid douches do not douch if you feel like you should be going around with a vagina wipes to you when you use the toilet maybe you're walking in a public place or you know there are some things that can occur that we cannot even help ourselves instead of using vagina wipes i rather you use a baby wipes it is much more safer for you this is a baby wipe you can get a small one and go wherever you want to go with it it is gentle on a baby skin so why won't it be gentle and your area you know what i'm talking about please do not touch if you have to go with wipes go with baby wipes after wiping because it's wet you're not supposed to leave wetness down there you can use tissue paper to wipe off even if you use water to clean up still use something dry to dry yourself off. another point that i'm going to make is vaginal deodorant who told you that that could make your coochie to smell nicer it is going to kill the bacteria there. talking about scented wipes they are makeup wipes and some of us even use makeup wipes to wipe there because you feel that is strong enough to wipe out your makeup why won't it be strong enough to wipe whatever infection that you have down there don't use scented wipes some of them have different scents like aloe vera, avocado, pineapple, and all that type of stuff. And you feel that using it is going to make your coochie to smell nice. It's not good for your coochie. That wipe might be too strong that it is going to kill the bacteria that is naturally there. So when you use it, you're going to kill the bacteria and then your coochie is prone to infection. You don't want that for yourself, sweetheart. Another important point that I want to make that people find it very difficult to talk about is safe sex. Then talking about this safe sex of a thing, it is still not just sleeping with one person that you're sure of. That one person that you're sure of might have gone for HIV testing and it comes out negative. This is not just all about HIV. And you feel like you catching gonorrhea and staphylococcus and other diseases is something curable. My dear, prevention is better than cure. The way you're taking care of your Gucci, you want to be healthy down there. You don't know if that your partner is so much in concern about his. 
bacteria and viruses are going to get into the vagina during sex. These include the bugs that causes chlamydia, gonorrhea, genital warts, syphilis and HIV. You can protect your vagina against these infections by using a condom every time you have sex. No matter how safe you think that person is, always use a condom whenever you want to have sex. Cervical screening is very very important. The same way that you don't feel headache, you don't feel body temperature, but you think it wise to visit a doctor to go to the hospital and do a self-check to know if there's anything that is about to happen in your body but you don't know about it so that it will be treated or prevented that is the same way our vagina should be taken care of like it is very important that we go for cervical screening as well especially when you notice that the discharge is irregular also notice that the color is not normal once you notice there are changes as far as it's not the beginning or the ending of your period. It is always very good to go to the hospital and check what is the meaning of that and know if it's something you can prevent or something you can treat so that it doesn't turn into some serious conditions which you will spend a whole lot of money to take care of. My advice to you on this one is to always check up on your gynecologist or primary care doctor for preventive care. My sixth point, also very important point, is to always keep your vagina dry. Cotton is breathable, making it an ideal material for underwear selection. Satin material retains moisture that reduces airflow, creating irritation or friction, and that encourages yeast or and bacteria Growth. This is a cotton material, not just being cotton, it is net. This is going to allow airflow. Now, this is satin material. I can manage this because it has net in front of it. This is where your coochie lies, and it has net here, and here is cotton as well. So, this can be manageable, but this preferably. So prefer cotton material to satin material. This point is something that so many of us neglect so much. Eating right. You always think that eating right has to deal with your weight loss or your weight gain. And now there are some fruits or food that you can take that your vagina is going to jump up and be happy about. You're always worrying that your coochie smells somehow. If you want it to smell nice, I think you'd rather eat things that has nicer smells like pineapple. Yogurt can potentially help to prevent yeast infection and also aid in their treatment. Yogurt is rich in probiotics, especially plain Greek yogurt. This is going to do a lot of good to you. Always use fresh towels. These are the mistakes we make so many times. Even me, when I was younger, my body towel, I use it for like months. <laughs> a month, two months before I even think of washing them. If we have to go with microscope, you will see that there are a lot of bacteria, virus that are in the air. And then we always hang our towels in the air for it to breathe. So you can imagine these bacteria patching on them. And when you finish taking your bath, you still use the same towel to wipe down there. Me saying fresh towels, I mean new towels. But if you think you're going to spend a lot of money on buying towel every now and then, I think you should wash your towel regularly. Because when you finish taking your bath, you're going to wipe down there with this towel. I hope you dry, you don't leave it wet. Your coochie is not supposed to be wet. Because that moisture it accumulates is not good. It is going to build up bacteria which is harmful for it and which is going to cause itchy. You want to always wipe and then for you to use a towel to wipe, you make sure that the towel is clean so that you don't invite other bacteria that are going to be harmful for your coochie. Always wash your towel regularly. You might as well want to get a special little towel that you use to wipe you whenever you finish taking your bath, which you can easily wash every day. Treating infections when they arise. Now, when you notice that your body system is not normal anymore, the discharge that is coming out, the color is abnormal, you have to 
go and treat whatever is happening there. How many of us think spending money or waste of money going to the hospital to do checkup or to treat abnormal vaginal discharge it will go on its own no baby girl you have to go and check what is wrong there if it's something you can prevent i think you would rather spend money preventing something that will occur because when it occurs you're going to spend much more money to treat it so it is always better to check yourself when you feel something abnormal going on there go and treat yourself the last but not the least is stay clean it sounds simple, but it's important to wipe from front to back because you know that it's going to look messy back there. So you want to wipe from the front to the back. Make sure you wipe and wipe and wipe until the toilet paper shows no residue. Now, staying clean also comprises of changing your pads and tampons regularly. Now, I'm talking about staying clean again has to also deal with our um, pant liners. The pant liner is supposed to help absorb the moisture and when it has absorbed it and then you're leaving it there to stay for a long time, that's no good. You're supposed to change it. So I have two types of pant liners that I use. Let me show you. This is 300 Naira. So try and get one for yourself. Whenever you wear this, it's going to help accumulate moisture. It is something that you want to change when it has absorbed the moisture that is there. This is magnetic energy. This is a pant liner that I use most times whenever I am done with my period. So whatever residue of blood that is remaining down there, this is going to help drag it down. But this is not something I use frequently. It is not good to use it often this is something i use once in a while like maybe once in a week once in two weeks so i would say pan liner is very important especially when you are always going out still on the topic of staying clean always shave i'm more comfortable using the shaving stick this is a regular shaving stick this is what i use and i don't notice bumps I don't notice dry out. I am not comfortable doing waxing, but if you're doing it and it's working out for you and you're comfortable with it, it's not breaking you out, then you go ahead. But I would not recommend this shaving cream. But if you're using it, it's good for you. It doesn't break you out. Whenever I use this, I notice it doesn't feel too good for my skin. It causes bombs and black spots. So mm -mm, I'm not using it again. That is just personal thing but if you use it and it's working out for you you don't have any irritations okay nice use it but i recommend that you shave at least once in two weeks or worse come to worse once in three weeks because when the hairs have grown so much trust me baby girl when you want to shave the next time you're going to notice breakouts bumps and then you're going to notice that you will peel when the hairs accumulate so much it is a home for bad bacteria to breed. So you don't want to leave hairs there. Whatever discharge you have, some of them go and hide on the hairs. And then the bacteria are growing there, which can be harmful for your coochie. So you always want to stay hair free. Another free tip that I'm going to give you is always allow your coochie to breathe. You probably go out morning till night. And then you're always wearing tight jeans or tight clothes because of work and all that type of stuff you notice that your coochie is always packed in one space you don't allow it to breathe just considering yourself when you put a leather over your head how you're going to choke that is how it is choking when you don't allow it to breathe wear something free at night don't wear panties except during your period allow your coochie to breathe allow some fresh air to penetrate come on <laughs> okay it comes to the end of the video i hope you find these tips helpful are there tips that you use for your vagina that i did not mention here that you think that we all including me are going to benefit from you can leave the tip down there below on the comment section engage with the video let's geez as women that we are let's help ourselves to get that vaginal hygiene right till then i'm going to see you in my next video